Hey everybody, Jimmy Swift here, and welcome back to another video. Today, I'm gonna to be showing you guys 20 different designs to hide your chests or barrels inside of Minecraft. Last week, I uploaded a video where I showed you guys 25 different designs that you can use for sort of like single chests or single barrels if you want to use either barrels or chests as decoration, or if you just need a little area to hide some of your stuff. But this video is gonna be all about either concealing or hiding our chests or barrels. So maybe you're playing on a Minecraft server and you wanna hide your valuables, or you just wanna add sort of a cool or different design to your single player worlds. Either way, it's helpful to know the different ways that you can utilize chests and barrels inside of Minecraft. So let's get to it. All right, so the first few designs I actually showed as a bit of a teaser for this video, but the premise with a lot of these is sort of the same. We have some sort of a block that's a decoration block or even a functional block on top. And below that, we have access to a barrel. So for instance, here is our first design. We have a cauldron and a barrel underneath. Now, the interesting thing about cauldrons is that they're not totally full blocks. They go all the way to the edges, but as you can see the little feet down there, they leave a bit of a gap, which you can right click on and have access to a barrel. Now, a lot of these designs are very simple, but I will ask that you guys use your creativity when looking at these designs and sort of integrate them in your own way into your own bases. Well, I can't have none of this when I'm starting out a video. Get out of here. <laughs> Anyways, back to the video. So if you wanna take something like maybe stripped oak or something and put it as your flooring, this is sort of a color that's close to the barrel color. Obviously, if you really look, you can tell that there's something there, but at first glance, you might be running through and not even notice. And if something like this is against like a wall with a bunch of other items around it, it's gonna be a lot harder to see, sort of like this. So anyways, that's that. I just wanted to say that you could use your imagination and integrate these ideas into your builds as you see fit. All right, so the next design is super simple. We've got a brewing stand on top of a barrel, and because the brewing stand doesn't come all the way to the edge of the block, you can actually access the barrel underneath. Same thing goes for ender chests. So underneath this ender chest, I have a barrel, and right next to this ender chest, I have another ender chest that is actually sitting on some stripped oak logs. And this you cannot open, obviously, because it's not a barrel, but you can barely tell the difference here between the two. Obviously, the color of this one is slightly different, but it's a really nice way to hide your barrel underneath. And because the inner chests take up more space on the block, you actually won't even see the little gray dot on the barrel either. Coming up with these kind of made me think, huh, I wonder what other blocks are in Minecraft that are sort of block related, but they don't take up the full space. So this one really isn't all too hidden. Obviously, you can tell there's some storage underneath but this grindstone right here placed on top of a barrel is a nice way to just integrate some additional storage maybe into your base and you have a two block high design that is both function with the grindstone as well as storage with the barrel another simple and functional design for you guys is an armor stand on top of a barrel again put some flooring around this maybe a wall maybe some things along the side like this and it's going to be kind of hard to tell that you've got a barrel hiding underneath so you can barely tell that there's a barrel underneath maybe you've got some armor here I like this one a lot because you can use the armor stand to actually place armor on top of. And because there'll be armor here, people will most likely just look at that and they won't probably notice the barrel that's hiding right underneath it. Here's another sneaky trick. You can put a barrel right underneath the bed and that could either go on this portion of the bed or the pillow portion of the bed. It doesn't matter. In both cases, the barrel can be open from either side and it's a nice little way to hide your barrel. Anvils are another block that don't fully reach the edge of the designated block size in Minecraft. So you can also access barrels from underneath an anvil. And then these next couple are obviously obvious. They're very, very obvious. With a hopper here on top of of a barrel, you know, it's another way for you to integrate two blocks together that maybe you can use, you know, the hopper for some type of decoration or something. Or you could take something like trap doors and kind of do something like this where you have the barrel actually hidden and it looks like you just have a hopper that is being surrounded completely by trap doors. And all you'd have to do would be to just open the trap door and then you have access to the barrel. But at first glance, it looks like there's nothing there but a hopper. And actually this design's kind of unique as well because with the hopper here, you really don't even have to open a barrel. You can literally just throw stuff inside. So if you're worried about players hearing you, if you're playing on like a PVP server or something like that, and you want to quickly store something away in your chest, you can just chuck it in the hopper and that way you don't hear the sound of you actually opening and closing the barrel, which would give away your position. This design is also pretty obvious, but it's just another block idea that I had where the block itself doesn't take up the full block shape and you still have access to a barrel underneath. Additionally, you could flip this around and have just sort of like, maybe you have a wall right here. And then that just kind of leaves you with this little corner right here for you to access the barrel. Maybe you put a block on this, you know, a side like this and you can only get to it from one side or something. I don't know, kind of interesting and a fun way to hide a chest. This next design sort of shares the same 
concept as this one over here, where obviously, you know, it's this this one here, but with trap doors on the side. So you'd obviously be able to see that there is something underneath here. I decided to vary it up and put a chest instead of a barrel. But again, you can sort of encase the stair here with these spruce trap doors, which kind of just look like little decorative barrels in and of themselves, but flip it down and you have access to some hidden storage. Coming over to this one, this is where we start to get a little bit more sneaky. So here we have a pressure plate. You could use this pressure plate for decoration or you could try and get some function out of it. But essentially underneath this pressure plate, it looks like a generic piece of wood. In reality, there's actually a barrel underneath. Pressure plates, you know, are kind of interesting and it's gonna mess with that thing. But <laughs> this is a fun way to hide some storage. Again, underneath a little item that's very sneaky. Getting a bit sneakier here, we actually have a chest hiding a barrel. So people are coming in, they're looking for your stuff. They're gonna look in this chest probably first. They're not gonna see much and they might move on. What they might end up missing is the fact that you actually have storage directly underneath here that is totally separate from this here. Honestly, this is one of my favorite designs because of how sneaky it is. Back to another non-sneaky design, we've got scaffolding. Again, in my quest to find a bunch of the blocks in Minecraft that you could actually click through, right? Like there's a block here, but you can click through it so that you can access what's underneath. I decided, hey, what about scaffolding? Again, if you want to hide it even further, you can use these spruce trap doors. I love spruce trap doors. They're one of my favorites. Whoops. And again, you can kind of make something here that you just right click and access. If you want to even get a little more sneaky with it, you could kind of make it look like you've got access to an upper floor and maybe you take this spruce trap door out here and you put a stair there. And that way it sort of looks like you have this. Oh yeah, there's nothing here. There's just access up. Uh-uh, if you come over here, boom, trap door there. So that's what I'm saying, guys. Just kind of use your creativity and imagination for this video and integrate these designs as you see fit. Everybody loves cake, I think. And I assume everybody loves cake in Minecraft as well. Well, you can also use cake to, I don't know, let's say hide your netherite ingots, for example, as again, cake doesn't take up the full width of a block, so you can actually right click on a barrel that you place underneath it. Same thing goes for the dragon head. Everybody loves using these for decoration and displaying in their house if you've killed the dragon, but have you ever tried using it as a way to hide a barrel? I don't know, maybe you have, maybe you haven't, but I just wanted to throw it your way in this video and see what you think. All right, so this might look exactly like that one over there, but it's using a different block. We actually have the trap chest right here. So again, we've got a trap chest on top of a barrel. And what's interesting about trap chests, obviously, is that they output redstone. So you could use this as a way to trigger a contraption or something. Maybe you design this in such a way that in order to access your chest, you have to be standing in like a one block area. And when you open the chest, this block just disappears and they fall into a pit of lava. I don't know, however you wanna do it, I think most people are pretty cautious when they're on a Minecraft server or in a Minecraft map and they see a trap chest because they usually know something's gonna happen. But what they're probably also not expecting is that you actually have hidden storage directly underneath with a barrel. Hopping back on my idea of armor stands and hidden storage, do you guys know where the storage is hiding in this design right here. It's pretty hard to tell. Obviously with the color difference between the blocks behind the armor stand, it might kind of give it away. But if you were using something with a more natural wood color, it might actually be harder to see. And because you've got armor here on the stand, it's going to take away a lot of the visibility for things that are behind the armor stand. But if you put your mouse just where it's supposed to go and you right click, then you'll have access to the barrels that are behind here. Pretty simple and straightforward, but again, just another little creative design that you might wanna try out. All right, so the next three designs we have here at the end of the video are a bit more advanced, but not really. They're honestly super simple, but they all involve a bit of redstone. So this one is just your simple pressure plate. Again, you could make an entire floor out of pressure plates and really have like, you know, no way of anyone knowing that there's something secret here. But for the sake of this demonstration, I just have one pressure plate. And of course, if you walk up to the pressure plate, it's going to reveal a chest underneath. Now this design is very simple. All you're gonna need is a wall and a floor hopefully not too hard to come by. And then you're gonna need to knock out the block next to your pressure plate. And then right below here, you're gonna jump down and underneath this block, you're gonna put some redstone. You're gonna wire up the redstone just like this. That's going into a block that's diagonally behind and to the right of this chest right here. That is gonna be this block. And on that block, you're gonna put a redstone torch. Then just wire the redstone torch with some redstone coming up like this. So you just have one, two, three pieces of redstone dust. Have that going into a redstone repeater. Then basically you're just gonna put two sticky pistons like this. So the redstone repeater is gonna be going directly into this piston and it's also gonna be powering the block right here that's below the redstone repeater, which will be powering this sticky piston right here. This block and the one right below it are the two that are being stuck and held by the sticky pistons 
And when you step on the pressure plate, it's gonna pull both of those blocks back, revealing the chest that you have underneath. All right, so this next design is actually quite clever. I'm very excited to be sharing this with you guys today. So this one looks just like a basic kitchen. You've got your little hand towel here. You've got some, uh, you know, a picture frame. You've got functionality in your crafting table and your furnace. You've got, oh, a nice little sink with a water spout going into it. You've got your island in your kitchen here with some cake and some decorations and light sources and you've got a plant. You wouldn't even know that there's a secret hiding here until you flip the oh so obvious lever that's actually hiding in plain sight as decoration. And that reveals a chest, which is right behind this potted plant right here. Again, this one's very simple, but I'll show you guys how to do it. Feel free to copy this kitchen design exactly if you'd like, you could take a screenshot right here if you're interested in doing that. But basically, this is the most important part of the build is having this lever right here. So right behind this lever, you're gonna have some redstone. So this is the block that's being powered by this lever. And if I go ahead and power that on, you'll see that right here with this piece of redstone dust, that is gonna be powered on. So one, two, three, four, five pieces of redstone dust is all you're gonna need. You basically just need to snake it downwards a few blocks so that you can get down to this level here, which is two blocks below this block that you first placed your first piece of redstone on. So you've got your block fourth redstone on it, and then two blocks down from there. And then right here is where you're gonna put another block. On top of that block, you're gonna place a sticky piston. And if this is powered on, your sticky piston will be pushed up. And this block right here is the one that is being held up by the sticky piston. So actually, if I break this, you will see that there is a sticky piston right behind here. So that's actually why I use the spruce stair here to sort of disguise that. But again, a very, very simple design, but honestly, one of my favorites in this video because of just how actually secret things look here. You'd really have no idea that there would be a chest behind there unless you flip this lever. All right, so imagine you're walking into someone's house and they've got these things on the wall. They've got their favorite sword hanging here and a clock. I always put clocks in item frames. I just feel like it's the best way to utilize them. And it's very handy to tell the time, especially on a survival server. But as you're walking down this hallway and you see these sorts of decorations, maybe there's pictures, maybe there's a whole hall full of item frames, what you wouldn't realize is that there's actually a hidden chest nearby. So one thing that I wanted to integrate into this video was the fact that item frames actually output redstone signals, which is honestly something that I forget all the time. But secretly enough, if you spin this clock all the way around without it getting back to the position that it's currently in, it will actually reveal a secret. So let me show you guys. So. It's basically on the last tick before it goes back to the normal orientation that it was at before, but it put out a redstone signal that revealed a secret barrel. I decided to use a barrel for this one because I was using chests for all the last ones, but the idea is super simple and let me show you guys quickly how to build it. So behind the block that is holding this item frame, you're gonna wanna place a comparator. Now the comparator is going to take the signal from this block as it's being read from the item frame and it's going to put out a redstone signal that corresponds with the number of ticks that the item inside the frame has been rotated. The max it can do is eight, and that's actually what we're at right now. So I've rigged this design up to be eight redstone signal blocks away from the source. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pieces of redstone. Just to bridge the gap here, I put a redstone repeater, which is going into this block here, which has a redstone torch on it. And because the signal is currently on, it's powering this block, which is then turning this redstone torch off, and it is then retracting this piston. Sorry, I mean sticky piston. So the sticky piston here is holding this piece of stripped dark oak wood. And if I go ahead and power this off, you'll see that it pushes the block back into place. So here's what it looks like when you're setting it up. You've got eight pieces of redstone dust that aren't powered and you've got a block with a redstone torch, then the torch is powered on. Because it's powered on, it's gonna be powering up this sticky piston here, which is pushing the block above it into place, which is hiding the barrel right here. But again, if we rotate this enough times, let's say we don't rotate it far enough. Well, in this case, it's only gonna be putting out a redstone signal of six, so it's not actually gonna make it all the way down to where it needs to go. So this design is actually cool because people may sort of fiddle with these things, but they have to get the sort of the combination just right in order to, for it to be revealed. But this one's kind of fun because people might be fiddling with these things, but they'll have to actually get the combination just right for it to work and only you might know that combination. Anyways, guys, that's gonna do it for this video. I really hope that you enjoyed it. If you end up using any of these designs in your Minecraft worlds or on any servers that you play on, please take a screenshot and send them to me on Twitter. I would honestly love to check them out. And I know it's not the most glamorous world download, but I am gonna be offering this world download as an exclusive download to my patrons at the pro tier and above. So if you'd like to support me on Patreon and help support the content that I create, you can check out my Patreon page. The link is down below in the description and we offer a bunch of cool rewards 
such as access to my Minecraft server. So if you're interested, just click the link down in the description and check it out. So yeah, thanks so much for watching guys. I really hope you enjoyed this one. I'll have some more tutorials and builds for different things coming soon. So make sure you guys subscribe if you haven't done so yet. Click that bell icon so that you get notified every time I post a new video and make sure to join up on our community discord as well. And lastly, I'd like to give a massive thank you to all my amazing patrons for helping make this video possible. So huge thanks to Aiden A, Ammon S, Aada, Arik V, August B, Axel, Azure Skies, Britt, Kane H, Cam, Carl, Chris B, Clay Sif, Colin K, Daniel D, Danny H, Darren, Darth Infernus, Darethic, Dina V, Elijah E, Ethan G, Evan G, Garrett B, Garrett B, Garrett M, Ishan, It's Ravens, Jack E, Jack M, Jake G, Jared, Jay-Z103, Jonathan P, Julia O, Kieran B, Linkman Media, Madeline G, Mariah S, Max H, MCJ Pollock, Mitch H, Moldy, Nanodar, Nathaniel V, Omega Gamer, Peyton L, Parker H, Fi Silver, Raltus, Rain D, Robert E, Ryan, Samuel R, Samuel T, Savannah G, Scott C, Scott M, Scott O, Sean B, Siler S, Sylvester, The Old Navy, The Shaded Master, The Virtual Bomb, Trevor S, Tycho Loke, Vanilla Biscuit, Waldo and Friends, Wavesy, William K, Whoopagadon, Zach A, Xander is a Nerd, Peter, Manda B, Daniel M, and Lendis, as well as Chris G, Leaf Sprout, Keho Creates, Rico T, Cinder, Red Blade Hunter, and Renee L. Thank you all so much for your support. Guys, if you're interested in helping support me and the content that I create through Patreon, click the link down below and you can see your name here at the end of another video. Thanks so much for watching, guys.